this video we're going to do an upgrade on firmware on a Triax e-code so we'll open up win transfer select this um, so we're on COM port 1 uh, that's the machine that's registered now what we're going to do is going to test communication between win transfer and the machine's database now there has been some issues uh, when you do test um, between the database like your PC and the machine itself and in the previous video we had a corruption and basically when we go to press test communications nothing really would happen it wouldn't come up with the machine now to resolve that problem they've actually just updated uh, new software and I also saw uh, that they've done some hardware protection I saw flip up on the menu when it was updating so as we can see here we've got a wind transfer version of 4.9.02 in the machine it's got 49.01 uh, it seemed to have a lot of a lot of patches a lot of updates when the uh, Silka software uh, updated there was a whole lot of stuff like a lot so uh, getting back to if you have a problem with testing connection and you don't get a response from that don't worry too much uh, it is just a corrupt database the machine will read 000 or 00.00, .00. Uh, it probably won't have a program version or it might have one or the other uh, you go into your into your uh, wind transfer and press test connection and nothing happens now as long as you use a proper serial cable um, and a proper serial port on a PC all you need to do is basically just just go and press update and it will automatically do it so we're going to do this uh, this video might be a bit long because it does take a little while uh, for everything to be updated so we're just going to it's going to start communicating with the machine and I can see on the machine it says waiting for computer data so file fun will be loaded in this shouldn't take too long it's it's generally probably let's say about 20 minutes half an hour uh, to actually do a full update now when you do this as I said before make sure you don't use a USB uh, to COM port uh, adapter and use a genuine COM port from your PC uh, that's where I got into trouble last time uh, the Chinese uh, USB to RS-232 adapters uh, don't work as well as if you had a genuine COM port so that was the trick that needed to be done and it did corrupt the database so I'll, I'll, throughout this video I'm going to pause it so you can see basically in the tick box here the first one that's being loaded is file, uh, file bin sorry file fun um, even though that's not tick that's being loaded now codes loaded models will be next so I'll just pause this and each time it loads in a new file I'll unpause the video so we're just getting to the end of the first file that's being transferred now when you're doing it over serial it is slow um, that's the nature of uh, serial connection so it's good to have a PC and it's probably not a bad idea uh, while you're doing this to actually put uh, your PC and the um, and the key machine on a, U on a uh, UPS is probably not a bad idea in case you do get a uh, power just drops okay so we should be coming to the next file very very shortly So with the file fun, I've just heard a little, uh, little very faint beep coming from the machine. Now the machine, the screen has gone blank, and it's now just showing uh, revision rev.2.2, and that's all it's showing on the machine. Uh, it did reboot, so best thing to do don't do anything to the machine don't touch it don't change the computer do nothing at all to your PC 
let it run. Um, it will look like things aren't happening as they should. Uh, you'll get the machine power down, power back up, blah, 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 blah. Don't touch your PC. Don't change anything. Just let it go. That's um, the best advice. So here we're loading in uh, File Pro. So that that tick box after after it's loaded in uh, the machine, it should be fine. You might have different different uh, file names <coughs> if you're using a different machine. To the end of File Pro now. And so also on the machine, it has uh, Triax E version 5.4.099. It has a version dot data DB of 0.0.0, .0 at the moment, and that's what the machine says. So obviously, what's happened there to get a data ver a database of 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0. Um, so it's now saying waiting for uh, com. It's actually going really, really slow. It says waiting for computer uh, data. So it's obviously, yep, it's sending another file, silk of cards. So what must be happening is when you do the firmware upgrade in the database, it's obviously deleted the whole database out of uh, the machine. And that's the reason why it would have showed that. So I'm not sure whether... Uh, a smaller revision of software might just actually update that database and just add to it or if there's been a significant change whether Silker is going through and actually just deleting the whole database and then just re-uploading it to the machine again. So the cards <coughs> uh, from what I remember when I've done this before uh, this particular file will take a long time and there's another file that also takes a long time transmitting that data from the computer to the machine. Uh, some of these other files here, they're actually, they get loaded in the end and they go really quick. They're only small. So I'll just pause this video and if anything else happens, I'll let you know. Okay, we're in, we're still in Silver Cards. Um, this has probably been going for about five minutes at the moment, maybe a bit longer. So we're coming to the end of uh, cards being loaded. It's probably about maybe about 12, between 12 and 15 minutes that's taken. At the moment, <coughs> the screen on the uh, key machine just says, it still says waiting for computer data. So this file is not completely uploaded just yet. Now have the machine uh, kicked up the normal screen and it's now gone back to uh, waiting for com uh, computer data so these files here might just let the video play they go pretty quick <coughs> so so this is at the moment this is in real time and the machine still says waiting for computer data so this is obviously being sent so I said this is in real time now I haven't paused the video so it'll also be interesting to see what the difference is uh, between the firmware revisions I'm hoping that I can decode a particular key. Okay, so I think this one here takes a little bit of time. So I'll just pause the video. So we're coming to the end of um, <coughs> the series file being loaded into the machine. The last one is the models. Oh, it's doing engraving now. Okay. So it's still saying uh, waiting for commuter uh, data for the from the computer. Okay, so we're almost at the end now. 
Okay, so the screen on the machine has come up as per usual as you'd normally use it. <coughs> and that is it. <coughs> That's your firmware upgrade. And test communication, so all the files have been loaded. So it does say here that's a revision so let's just test communications okay so that's come up so that's the end of the video thanks for watching if you like this video and it was informative to you hit the thumbs up for us cheers bye